What's up everyone? Dragonixa here and this is my 100 subscribers celebration. So this, what you see right here, this hides so many monstrosities that I've drawn over the year in Fluffy Community. Not just in Fluffy Community, but you get the idea. <laughs> so anyways, this sketchbook contains from the third, yes, from the third <laughs> drawing I ever did for the community because the previous ones were in the previous sketchbook that is now in America in possession of Virgil because I love him and he's great <laughs> so with that cleared up let's start let's open the fucking sketchbook oh my god so first page yes this is a mess same the last page if I'm gonna spoil yeah Pens are great to work with, they get stuttery. <laughs> and here, my wonderful sister and one of the most wonderful people I've met in this community asked me to write this at the start of my sketchbook. And this means I will reach my goal because I know I matter, not just for others, but also to myself. And it's a motivational quote that I simply use to, you know, better myself. And I seriously recommend some people to do that because it's it's nice, you know. Anyways, first page, and we have a naked woman. Yes. Practicing anatomy is great. Like, look at those chunks. Hell yeah. And this one I also drew before I joined the community and this type of stuff that I used to draw. So yeah, thank you for fucking me up. <laughs> Anyways... Oh yes, that's the third ever piece that made it to Fluffy Community. I remember it was under, I think, my first post. I asked people for suggestions, you know, what should I draw? And I specifically asked for abuse type of deal, but someone mentioned that they just want to see me draw a fluffy in a sweater so I did it for them and they were so happy it was the best thing ever <laughs> I love making people happy anyways yes and this is the stuff that I like to make people happy with <laughs> I had such a blast drawing this one this was one of the first more detailed pieces but still, it's not as detailed as the later ones that show up in the sketchbook, don't worry. This is one of those that made me a little bit famous, <laughs> if I can call it that, in the community. So that, that was great. And here, I remember drawing this because someone complained that my fluffies have two long legs. Maybe they were used to like pillow fluffs or fluffies that can barely walk because they are so round and fluffy. But I just wanted to show a comparison between my fluffy and my pony. Because they compared it to like my little pony character. So this is my my little pony OC. A Lyburn, I love her. But anyways. Oh yes, the blood eagle. I remember it was someone's suggestion for me to do. So I did it. And I'm proud of it. Meow. What the fuck, cat? This would look dope colored. And don't quote me on that. But I just might color it. Because it's so cool. Yes. Oh, yes. My first Jellenheimers. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know how to draw them. So I had to ask people what kind of legs they have. Do they have hooves or stubby paws or what are they walking on? And people told me basically that those are mythical creatures that are weird. So no matter how I draw them, they shape shift anyway. So yeah, I, I draw them with stubby paws because they're cooler and fit those characters more, in my opinion. And this is my first colored piece and also my first commission from Shadow 509. Hell the fuck. Yes! Oh my goodness, those rubber bands! I had so much trouble with those rubber bands because I didn't know how to portray them. I've never drawn rubber bands before. <laughs> but this was so much fun. My goodness. Especially proud of those little fools that are coming out of her holes. All of them, even those new ones. 
And I'm also proud of this foam in her mouth. Yes, my goodness. And yeah, this was a point when I started drawing Fluffy's more in a more detailed manner. And this one, this commission specifically is very important to me because it's a piece that brought me and Virgil together, you know. <laughs> At first as a friendship, but then it developed into something more. And yeah, this piece is very special and I love it so much. It was connected to a story that Virgil wanted to write, but never actually managed to get around to it. Still, I feel like it's great. Oh yes, I think this was for Daikuri, if I'm not mistaken, but my goodness, it was the first time for me. So many first times in this community. It was the first time for me to draw a spaghetti monster, and it's... That's my boy, I'm proud of him. <laughs> Also, I'm proud of this fucking noodle. It's so real. <laughs> it's so bizarre and grotesque, and I love it. This comic. It's also the first comic that I did for the community. Another first time. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, this one was often compared to Junji Ito, I think. Even though I've never known this dude before. So thanks to this community, well, I was compared to one of the greatest manga artists out there. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm especially proud of the what I did to the limbs of this particular fluffy. You know, cut them off, stick them to its back and shove the tail into its penis. Hell yes! I was basically known for genital torture, I feel like. It changed a little bit. No, no one boobies! <laughs> this one is adorable and I remember doing it on Christmas because it was Hogmas of 2020 that was messed up by abusers and the whole event was cancelled because there was just so much abuse work even though it was supposed to be a hogbox specific type of deal and it was it was honestly sad to see all the drama around it so in a form of solidarity with the hogboxers i decided to draw a hogbox piece which is not something that i do often and it was seriously appreciated because everyone deserves their day everyone deserves love Love and Huggies. And this next one, this didn't get much traction, even though this is how I basically draw fluffies. I did it step by step, but honestly, I usually start with this and then go immediately to this step. It's just the way I draw. But for the sake of teaching people basically how to get to the final product of how I draw fluffies, even though it's not exactly because the neck is a little bit too long for what I usually draw. But still, I just wanted to teach people to show them because I, I got questions about it. How to draw fluffies? And I remember, yes, here are some sketches, some practice sketches on uh, some of the fluffies. This one looks like it's rubbing its butt against a rug. <laughs> it's actually quite funny and cute. Next one. Oh, fuck yes. Uh, the bugs. Here, on that little bit. I was so annoyed at my fucking pen because it decided not to work on the side of this fucking paper. And yeah, it really messed up the page as you can see even on this side. Uh, yeah, the creases and everything. Uh, it's... It sucks. And I don't know why it got... Can you see that yellow here? I don't know. I have no clue how it happened. And you can see also some of it here. What the fuck? <laughs> What is my sketchbook? <laughs> but yeah, oh my goodness, drawing the bugs and everything, it was great! Also the trypophobia piece on that little leg. Yes. Also the fact that she's tied by her own intestines. Yes. <laughs> this was so fun to draw. Very complicated, but here we go. Here we have another detailed piece. This one was also a commission for Vordu, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm so proud of that dragon. I love drawing dragons and I think it shows thanks to this piece. Also, those fluffies are smaller than my fingernail. And I'm pretty tiny, mind you. So, <laughs> it's tiny. I like tiny formats because they aren't as uh, labor intensive and they don't take as much time to fill in. So that's probably why. But that also gives me trouble when 
might try to draw in a bigger format. So, shut up! <laughs> I'm doing my thing, okay? Shut up. And another commission. I was very often commissioned back in those days. This one was also for Shadow, and this was supposed to be uh, spray paint, but I don't know. I didn't know how to draw this properly. You know, I don't often do man-made things. I prefer more organic creatures and all. By the way, I fucked up this fluffy. I hate how its eye turned out. Look at this shit. My god, I f Ah! It's so ugly! <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, this one's great. Mom, I'm smart. Make our babies pretty babies. Exclusive voice acting. <laughs> the sun has risen and my back was hurting. So I had to sit down for this. Anyways, let's continue. This one, <laughs> I did it for Monster Mama. If you recognize her, if you don't, my goodness, check out her art because she's amazing. And it was at a time when our friendship was just starting and she was smothering me with love. And she was sending me money because she loved me so much. Oh, it was cute. I miss her, I need to get in touch with her. But anyways, we had a whole battle on PayPal. <laughs> She was sending me money and I was just sending it back. <laughs> Great times. Anyways. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the first piece that I did for myself that I shaded properly this time. And I'm pretty proud of this one. Even though its face, its muzzle is a little bit big. I don't know, I messed up the perspective. And also it turns out this fluffy is pretty small. You know, comparing the hand to... It's basically... My goodness, it will be like the exact size of Fluffy <laughs> in real life. This is... Yeah, imagine that small of a Fluffy, it will be like the size of maybe a Chihuahua. <laughs> or even smaller. <laughs> like a kitten. But anyways... Yeah. Oh, this comic is something that I didn't publish, but I guess it gets to shine this time around. This one was supposed to be for some kid who for some reason wasn't was in the community but I drew this for them because their lizard died and their lizard's name was blue because it was blue <laughs> very creative but it, come on it's a kid and they asked me to draw this as a commission but they said that they don't have money so it was like a commission but more like a request because they never send me the money so I decided to just make them a sketch and make them happy this way you know, this lizard was supposed to kill a fluffy, a chirpy baby, and that was it, basically. So I never shared it and never planned to. Well, I guess I'm sharing it now, but you get the idea. It was just not, not really worth it. Okay, here I was fucking bored. <laughs> uh, I remember not feeling very creative. And what I do when this happens is ask people, possibly random people, to give me names of different animals so I can mash them together. So we have a grass beetus, which is a mantis beetle grasshopper. <laughs> we have a hop higer, which is a hawk tiger grasshopper. I don't know what was the thing with the grasshoppers then, but whatever. We have a thing that doesn't even have a name because it's a mix of five animals. It's a cheetah, bear, shark, turtle, puppy. It's a it's an Elerilaceros, <laughs> which is a rhino, gorilla, and elephant mix. Jeez, Elerilaceros. Fuck. Ooh, my favorite Cheetigon. Cheetigon is a lion, tiger, cheetah. It's so gorgeous. I'm proud of it. It's an Eloctoe whale, which is a whale eel octopus. Which is also cool, and I remember someone coloring it at some point. <laughs> and here's your dad. <laughs> Which is a man bear pig. Yes, I heard it's a thing. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. I forgot about this, how dare I forget. This is my rendition of Fluffbox by Ranger Wick, I think. Yes, I was supposed to color this and post it. I might still do it. Oh my goodness, I might still do it because I'm pretty proud of this one. I have to finish it. Oh, if you haven't read Fluffbox, I seriously recommend it. It can mess you up. It's so great. Okay, so here I had some ideas for like posters for each and every box in the community. Oh my god, 
the sun is killing me. So this was supposed to be for abuse. So basically those were like fluffy portraits made out of fluffies that do shit. This was for hug box. So basically fluffy having a good time together and hugging, no worries. There was, I think, yeah, that was more on box. <laughs> more on box is beautiful. I wanted to draw like an opening to a well to show how empty this fluffy's head is. <laughs> so that was, I think, clever-ish. <laughs> and the Pinkie Pie Fluffy won't die. <laughs> I didn't have an idea for neutral box, so I only sketched out the border of it. Oh, the sad box. Yes, the teardrop and everything. I can't see anything on my screen, so that's hard to record. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. This one is adorable, and I love it because it wasn't the first piece that I did for Virgil and me. Because the first one went to Virgil, because I wanted him to have a piece of me, along with the first sketchbook. I wanted to also have something for myself, and I sketched out this, and my goodness, this one makes me so happy. It, it's, it's so nice. <laughs> oh, and I was in a bad mood then. Yay. Good times. Not really. Here. Ah, yes. I'm so proud of this one. Except for one thing. As you can see, it's hooked up, right? So, one of the hooks is not like the others. <laughs> and it's this one. I think this was supposed to be the first design, but then I changed it for some reason. So, all the hooks are consistent, except for the first one. And it triggers me! <laughs> so, that's the only thing I hate about this piece, but the thing I'm, I'm most proud of is with those ribs, my goodness. This whole piece could not exist except for those ribs. Okay, you know what? We'll skip the more controversial ones because there were two that were kind of in a row that fucked me up in the head and I don't want to fuck you up in the head. So uh, if you want, I'll post the link to them in the description, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's too much. But this one there, uh, Mara Kasaya, which is one of my favorite artists in the community. Love you, man. He did a draw this in your art, art style challenge, and this was my rendition of it. So he was basically grabbing this fluffy by the neck and trying to punch it. But I decided to, you know, to just show more of a sadistic side of him. And I am in love with it, even though it was more of an effortless, quick piece, still. <laughs> okay, that's a controversial one. And here, I decided to do something to recover from those two controversial pieces. <laughs> and I created a contest. Uh, this is Bloom, and this is Annabelle. And Annabelle is a good mama who protects Bloom at all costs. And I wrote like a part of their story and then ask people to continue it to show an ending that they come up with even though there weren't any submit many submissions they did a fantastic job especially turbo and cabulator my goodness this guy his peter series oh it's just the best if you are into abuse and very much gruesome shit oh check out turbo i did some stuff for him later so well, back to bloom and annabelle so Yes, imagine a Fluffy, pregnant, malnourished Fluffy, so desperate and pumped with so much adrenaline for it to kill a cat. Yes, that's the extent of how much she loved Bloom and I wanted to show that in this way. Okay, here are some practices. Uh, I think I did it to give some advice for something cheeky about shading and the facial structure. So that was cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I remember Ripoff McGee uh, once drew an anthro fluffy with crotch tits and <laughs> regular fluffy with regular human tit placement <laughs> and he made this a challenge. He was like, uh, I dare you to draw this and I did it in the public space. <laughs> good times, good times. Here are some more practices for something cheeky. She asked me for a lot of advice, and 
I was happy to give it to them. And if you are looking for some art advice, I'm open to give it. Don't worry. Cost free. So here I wanted to remake one old piece of mine. Uh, let me quickly grab it, actually. So, here's the original from like 10 years ago. And this is now. Yeah! 10 years of progress. <laughs> God, look at this fucking throat. What happened here? <laughs> God. Goodness. So much progress over the years. But yeah, here is another commission by Shadow. This guy loves me. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. A mushroom fluffy. And what was funny about this one is that soon later in time, there was a event around fluffies and mushrooms so <laughs> basically we did that one a little bit too early you know and i didn't want this to be my submission even though it's great and i love it so i did another one that will show up later this time a commission by virgil based on jayberg's forgotten numbers <laughs> it was jayberg's idea that i renditioned to my own style and hell yeah this was fun, especially that it's black and white, and I love black and white, so... Yeah, coloring can be tedious at times. This one took me so long to finish. I remember starting it, and not finishing it for a long time, and I did so much work. But this one never came to be until I finally finished it and published it at some point, I think. <laughs> yeah, I could have did a better job on the anatomy here because I, do, I wanted those to be like kidneys hanging and the stomach. I could have done more research and actually draw from a reference for once, you know, as an artist should. I remember that because we didn't have too many submissions for the Bloom and Annabelle contest, I wanted to extend the time so everyone could make it. But yeah, oh, this was Fluffy Stomping Day! Yay! <laughs> fluffy Stomping Day was fun. Kinda proud of this one. But I'm more proud of the fucking Pug Fluff. Yes. Pug Fluff for life, baby! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, I remember at that time I was uh, practicing human anatomy. I tried to apply human anatomy onto a fluffy, and it didn't really work out too well. But it, I guess it was a good practice. Next up, oh, this was a commission for something cheeky. Yeah, that was cute. And that as well. <laughs> oh yes, the rat cage. Recently I drew something similar, but with fluffies, like baby fluffies going through their mama. Let me show you. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. So basically, uh, you could compare these two concepts right over there. Even though it's a little bit different, of course, because it, they go through her stomach and uh, they go for his face, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, fuck my sketchbook! Here are some more anatomical practices and help sheets for my dear sister. Something cheeky. You're the best. Oh, here's Velvet. The fluffy that I wanted to make a comic with, but never actually got around to it. This isn't finished. <laughs> oh yeah, this was one of my event arts. Well, at the time I didn't feel great. I'm still going through some stuff, but at least I don't want to hurt myself like back then. Yeah, let's hope that I'll keep at it. Yeah, this was basically a pretty rough time of my life and I was falling back into deeper depression. So there, there, there was that. And this one, yeah. <laughs> Just moving on, you know. Uh, this one is uh, the end of a comic that I did also as a commission. I'll show it up on screen right now with the person that I did it for because I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy, and this is Peter that I mentioned earlier from the series by Turbo and Cabulator. At first I did that sketch for him, so he could confirm if this is at least remotely similar to what he had imagined. But he said that he had never had any drawings of him before, or any depictions. So he decided to make it canon, which is so flattering. <laughs> and for the first place that he had taken in my contest, I drew him this. So this is basically what you could expect 
from the Peter series. It's awesome. <laughs> but mind you, it's brutal and I, I love it. I personally love it. This was for the second place. Oh gosh, I took it. I was supposed to check it, but I forgot. But yeah, I also did the text. I added the text in this white blank space of what the Mare was talking to her partner. So the, the whole premise of this was that she she can see the Banshee and only he can see it and he is so mesmerized by it that he follows it, right? And there's Kirby. <laughs> a little easter egg. Kirby is a uh, Jellenheimer that I adopted from a uh, rip of McGee. <laughs> rip off. Rip off McGee. I can't speak. <laughs> And this was for the third place in that competition. Also forgot the name. <laughs> and this is for the mushroom event. For a reminder, I did a previous piece. I did so much in that 20. So I did this back then, right? Then after doing this one, I did that one in the mushroom theme. So I did use a different type of mushrooms to portray it. I like the contrast between the the black and white shading that I usually do with colors, like pops of colors. I should do this more often because it's so cool. I love the effect that it gives. Oh, and this was a gift for something cheeky because she's my lovely sister and I love them. That was cute. <laughs> oh, and this one is... Gosh, was it Shadow again? <laughs> Who commissioned it? But it was definitely a commission with an Aoizotl or whatever you pronounce it as. Drawing an Aoizotl was, was probably the best part out of this piece, personally. Yeah, the, and, and the circle itself was probably the worst. What am I doing with my fingers? Help me. <laughs> Next up, we have a sketch of, an, of a xenomorph queen. Uh, I was practicing for a tattoo design for someone who I'm not friends with anymore. Yay. Oh, this one. Ah, yes. I forgot how I came up with this. You're a I don't stupid even know if it was commissioned or not. <laughs> it, it was great. If I'm mistaken, I'll probably put it on screen. So many stuff on screen. Yay. Oh, and this is my whole family that I used to spend a lot of time with, but I suck at man maintaining human relationships. It's the bestest fan though. I miss them. And here we approach a particular. Part of my sketchbook that I never shared before because of how emotional it was. Uh, yeah, you can see you can see how much I was suffering at the time. And there is this whole comic that I did that portrayed my emotions that I was bubbling up and I just needed to vent it out. I wasn't in a good headspace when I was doing the I'm, I'm tired comic. So let me share it now, now that I'm feeling way better. I also included uh, Velvet in this comic because I wanted Velvet to be my like quote unquote real life Fluffy and I wanted him to accompany me. Yeah, this was basically my life. Just want to pretend to care. Ha <laughs> my manager. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired of and so done with life. So fucking done with life. I did those two smarties that made fun of me. That was my last straw. Yeah. <laughs> and here's where it gets brutal. And I did it very badly. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't good good time for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the Velvo was supposed to be the one to comfort me. Oh my 
goodness. This is actually a very sweet comic. Like, normally I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't so personal, you know? Ah, <sighs> well, I guess it's just life, but it was rough at that time. It still gets rough, but not as bad, you know? I'm so glad I'm in a better headspace now. So let's come back to the fun stuff. <laughs> this was for a friend of mine for his birthday. Lemon flavored melon. A good guy. I need to get back with him. <laughs> I suck at maintaining relationships. I suck at everything. Oh, and this, my goodness. If you recognize Carnivia's duck, you know who I'm talking about here, but yes, I wanted to make a nightmare version of his character, of his ducky, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> That's a good sketch. Also a nightmare version of something cheeky, which was also fun to make. Next up we have a started portrait that never was finished. Then. Here we have a drawing of my IRO friend, Aiko. You can actually see the date when she has done it. I never put dates on my work, so I probably should, but this is really nice. Ooh, ooh, approved, as you can see. <laughs> and more butts, yay! <laughs> and more anatomical stuff. I remember not being able to draw pelvises properly, so I practiced that. It was very helpful. Proud of that butt. That butt is nice. And that spine is broken. <laughs> oh, there's a PP from. She wrote her real name here, so I'm going to cover it. From Aiko. It's the most beautiful thing in this whole sketchbook. And there I practiced Peter's skin, as you can see. And this, uh, I think we were picking microphones for recording with my band. And yeah, this is one of the lines of uh, one of our songs, which is like, fuck everything up in Polish. And that's the end. So. Thank you for coming along for this journey. And because you made it to the end, you'll get to see more of my cat. Here's Noxy. And he's the cutest cat ever. And I love him so much. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Look at him. My beautiful kitty. Yes. So good. Yes, he loves pets, but I, I think he's tired right now <laughs> because he tries to sleep and I don't let him. Look at his face. So done with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching anyways, and I hope you have a great time.